get thee to a nunnery. One skin, one breath, one heart, you gave us in our togetherness. We were two by two among all, and this must be the prelude to something even more intimate and sublime. The resplendent man and woman are conjoined to the completeness of humanity, as your design decreed. Thus we know you as more than ourselves, more than one being. This expanded is the people of God. We learned to come together as two bodies, one. And with more difficulty, joined in mind and heart. And as to soul, it is beyond us. Its unity is a supernatural creation. There is no nunnery into which to flee sexual immorality. No monastery. This destruction is rampant upon all the earth and needs not be await and needs not await the final day. Decreed is the sexual union of one man with one woman. All other is not established to the correct order of the universe. Millennium by millennium, century by century, and day by day increases our recalcitrance to obey. Unto these days of actual intolerance, of the one sanctity, which is marriage. Tis no thorough terror of damnation. It is said, simply carnal inclination. Tens of thousands it has slain and lain their conscience in the dust. The cross marks every grave of clouded vision and of unforgiven sin, all too human to avoid. Yet there is the cross to mark forgiveness of repentance, none else. Other evil lives on and is not properly buried unto resurrection. The cold and dreary village morality was universally rejected. But what to take its place? A person, person beckoning to come to him and giving strength of love to disburden all other. We are and have been burdened. Yet was said, my yoke is light, come to me. There is joy of life you have not seen. Is it a blessing to be free and not be over good? Try it and see, then wonder of your failing all around. For one is hand and one is glove. We will never see that you are dearly searching us to clear away dark clouds and see your beauty. Let do, house of do, rejoice the freshness of a person. Let new, house of new, begin to live with angels. And let grace, house of grace, fill with whom would be the purity of the race. Suppose one is a woman well endowed. It is an accident of birth, not to strut and primp upon a stage. Or face, not attached to a soul of purity, what then? All of one goes down together away from the beauty presented to us. You had wished to form us like unto you, yet was your purity profoundly rejected. We are to be one body with you, and so we must, by some means, be purified, by repentance and by grace. Our flesh is in the grasp of sin, this we must release and come to you, come to you as you have come to us, meek and mild, the Holy One of God. Amen.